Yeah. <laughs> it's official. The E53 is done. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another exciting episode from your boy D at Salvage Nation. Listen, this cold weather has hit me like a sucker punch from Tyson Fury himself. I ain't ready. But guys, this is Salvage Nation and the show must go on. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is our 2019 Mercedes E53 AMG. This cost about 16 and a half grand at the auctions. We got this car about a month, two months ago now maybe, just about a month. Um, I've been on holiday for two weeks, but prior to going away on holiday, we had the car, it wasn't starting, we fixed that, we got it started, we changed the subframe, we rebuilt the front end, we rebuilt the suspension, we did so much on this car, so if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out, they're going to be in the playlist, if you click my channel link. Anyway, moving forward, whilst I was away, my guy Akil came in, he sprayed the front bumper, he repaired the rear quarter of the door, and he replaced the wings, and he got this car looking in tip-top condition, as you can see by the slow motion shots I just showed you. Moving on for today though, we've got a bit of work to do on the rear end because it's missing the rear bumper and we had to get some bits in the post. So those bits have come in, so some brackets, some guides, and some other little bits and bobs. We're gonna get them all, we're gonna get them installed onto the car. I've got the rear bumper there, get the rear bumper on the car, and hopefully by the end of this episode, we can get this car out for a test drive. That is the plan. Will it go to plan? Who knows? But you're gonna be here for the ride, so let's get into it. So guys, in the last episode, I also showed you that we are at a new garage. Eagle's garage has moved, which means the home of Salvage Nation has moved. So, in the new garage, we finally have a ramp. Finally! Now let's go check out the car. So guys, come into the front of the car, have a look at this, man. This car has really come together so nicely. In the last episode you saw, we reassembled these brackets that hold these tiny rads at the bottom. All of that is sorted. Um, Akil went ahead and fitted this replacement grill. We got the camera in there situated. We got these bottom grills, parking sensors, parking sensor wire, everything is situated all nice. Headlights is in on that side. Also, this headlight is all good to go. Have a look at that, no issues there. Um, we've got some splash guards to fit, but if you remember, we reassembled, well, I went ahead and reassembled everything under there prior to going on holiday. If you remember, this door had some damage right here. The door is sorted. Have a look at this wing. This wing was completely messed up. Akil went ahead and did this thing. Have a look at that now, man. That looks amazing. Just needs to get a bit of polishing. On the rear end, is missing the rear bumper, and we're gonna get that installed today. Um, another thing that we need to do later on is change those airbags right there. That's the top curtain airbag. I went ahead and I changed the driver airbag already and I changed the knee airbag down there. So I just need to sort out the one for the seat. Seat airbag is gone right here and the curtain airbag is also gone. But guys, if I step back, have a look. This car is actually starting to turn a corner and is actually looking like something special. Um, at the price that we paid, trust me, this is something very special because this is a 50 grand car all day long, all day long. But anyway, no more talking. I wanna get all of this situated and get it onto that car.
guys, so it's the next morning here. We got this guy. You miss me, yeah? Of course. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I just want to say, in the last few videos, I've had to use my GoPro because my main camera right here has been broken, but I've got it all sorted now, and I just want to say that we're back to using the proper camera, so you shouldn't have those weird lines and all that. But anyway, let's continue. So me and Akil stayed late last night. We got the bumper all on, all these exhausts are all in, and they look amazing. Check them out. Um, close this down. Have a look. That rear end is looking amazing now. Come around to the side, we've got to pop that back on. I've got to sort out these airbags, like I said. Akil is just doing a little minor repair right here on the front of that bonnet. But coming around to the front of the car, everything's looking good. We're gonna head to buckle down the cat. If you remember, we took that out in the previous episode. All that is all sorted. Coming around to the side, we're doing some body work on that bottom still. And that side skirt is getting painted. I've got my guy Angus here with me. Yes, Angus. Yeah. You like the new place? Lots of space, isn't it? Lots of space, yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. We're gonna put on the splash guards, front and rear, and just little bits and bobs. So I'm not even talking no more, man. Let's get cracking. Alright guys, so I want to point this out. If any of you guys are accustomed to working on these Mercedes, you see this is one of the hardest things to remove. You have to fish some sort of tool into those two little slots, which will then open up these two little pins right there. Have a look. It's one of the hardest things, but now that that's out, check this out. In this box, I have a replacement curtain airbag. Have a look at that. Complete replacement airbag. And this is the airbag for the seat tiny little airbag for the seat which I will replace as well but before I can replace that I need to gut out that rear end I need to get those seats out so I can fix those seat belts if you have a look you can see how jammed up they are they're really really tight so I need to get those out um, and to do that I don't want to cut them because I can repair them so I'm going to remove the rear seats and that will give me access to some nuts and bolts underneath right there Okay guys, just to show you quickly, I had to remove all of that stuff to put the seats down, like I said, so that I can access up there. That's the rear seat belt. This is the one that was completely locked up. Have a look. And then I've got a replacement one right here. So I need to get this into the car. And as you can see, it's just very, very tight and cramped in there. And once I'm done with that, I've got two for the fronts as well. The fronts are not locked up. However, on the diagnostic scan, it's got an error for the second stage pretensioner. So that is something to do with the internals of these seat belts. So instead of trying to fix them, I'm just gonna replace them with these. Thanks to one of my subscribers who hooked me up with a complete set. And I got them at a really good price. So if you're watching this, thank you, mate. Woo, guys, man, oh man. These two things, I'm, I'm actually out of breath. These two things are kicking my butt, man. To get these two seatbelts out, there's literally no space and there's got a giant nut right there, a giant bolt right at the back. I'm, I'm happy to announce I've got it out, or I think I have. There you go. <clears throat> so that's one blown seatbelt that's out. <laughs> I need a minute. I'm gonna take a minute, 
I'm gonna take these out, I'm gonna put the new ones in because I can't, there's no place to put the camera anyway. So I'm gonna put the new ones in and once they're all in, I'll catch up with you guys. So guys, we're making great progress. We've done the rear end. What I wanna do now is, I just need to pop the rear cover off the driver's seat, replace this bad boy, and then I can go ahead and continue with the front seat belts. It's freezing today, but this is warming me up, so let's continue. So guys, now that I've done all of that, I've done the majority of the airbags, I need to double check which seatbelt at the front has got an issue. And I'm gonna be using my launch diagnostic tool, which was sent out to me by the guys over at King Bowling Tools. And the reason I'm mentioning them is they've also sent me out a little baby joint. Check this out, this is a baby ODB scanner. It's tiny, I haven't even opened it yet. I'm gonna be giving it away to one of you guys. And I've got another one to give away as well. And you're gonna see that in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. This is for subscribers only. And I wanna help all of you DIYers over there. Have a look, brand new. If you wanna get this little ODB scanner, just simply leave a comment down below telling me why I should give this to you. And I'm gonna post this out for free. I done it last time with the Atoto. Now it's time for this one. And in the next episode, I've got one more to give away as well. It's a bit different, but stay tuned. That's it guys, so I found it. It's saying that the squib for the driver side pretensioner has a malfunction. So that means I only need to change this driving side. I've got nothing else on the passenger. Happy days. Alright you guys, good morning. It's the next morning bright and early. We just removed the masking from this little quarter piece of the bonnet that we did last night. And I went ahead and did the bottom skirt as well. That's looking amazing. What I want to do now is we've got a ton of plastic, splash guards, under guards, mouldings, all sorts to put on. These are the finishing touches now. Yesterday we fitted all the airbags, seat belts, everything's all good with that. Now we just need to finish off all of these and then hopefully we should be getting the car out. I think it needs to go MOT. Um, putting in all the little last minute bits and actually wrapping up this build now. It's about time. So, it's a new day, let's get started.
guys, now that we've been able to jack the car up, I can go ahead and remove all the wheels and get all the splash guards for all the other remaining three wheels. But if you're an OG on the channel, how many times have you seen me sat, crouched over? Do you know how good it feels to actually have a ramp at our disposal where I can actually work at standard height? Like, trust me, it's gonna do wonders for my back and it's just gonna do wonders for bringing you guys better content. So I'm happy that we've got a ramp. But anyway, enough talk about ramp. Let's get all of these wheels off and get these splash guards on this car. So a few hours have gone by, we've done quite a lot on the car, um, have a listen, it's running good, I can't wait to get the car out, I hope you guys are enjoying it, but let me give you a brief update of all the bits that we've gotten up to whilst you were away, let's check it out. Guys first of all just look at that stance, the stance on this car is just too sick, I really like the styling on this car, but I'll just make a walk around and I'll show you exactly what happened. So as you saw earlier, we've done all the splash guards on all four wheels, um, went ahead and I double checked all my nuts and bolts, making sure that everything was torqued down. Obviously, earlier on in the series, I was working on this car on the floor. Now that I've got a ramp, I'm making full use of it. I made sure that all the nuts and bolts are nice and tight. I went around to the back, the back has got that splash guard, everything is sitting well on there. I went ahead and buckled down all the rear end pipes, have a look at them, twin pipes there, twin pipes there. They needed to be screwed in and riveted in, that's all secure, very very solid, they're not going anywhere. I'm just missing one reflector right there, but I went ahead and fitted this reflector, this reflector, as well as these number plate lights, have a look at that, they're the LED number plate lights, so they're all in, fitted, working well. Went ahead and refitted this rear light, that light is in, have a look at all of that. And it looks very, very tidy, let me know what you think in the comments down below. We sent off the petrol cover to get the paint cold and to get the paint mixed up. I've got it in the car, we're going to put that on last. Everything is nice and tight, buckled down on that side as well. On the interior, you know, yesterday we changed the seat belts, airbags, everything is all done. I've cleared off everything using my launch diagnostic tool. Remember, there's going to be a discount code and a link down below for that. And don't forget, I'm giving away that YA100 diagnostic tool to one of you guys. So get in the comments, man. Let me know why you think I should give it to you. What do you do? What build you're going to be using it on? And I just want to help one of you lot, but come on, man. Take a look at that car now. Just look at that stance. Look at everything.
guys, we've gone ahead and given the car an entire cut and polish all over. There's only one more thing to do. Let's go. <laughs> it's because you've got all the cameras, Akil. I see you. Use, it's because no you've got the cameras. I'm not watching the camera. I don't know. Just drive by yourself. Whoa! Don't you drive. Nah, you drive. Go. Go. You drive. I don't want to break anything. If I break anything, I have to pay. You break it, you buy it. Wow. Right guys, next morning, and like I said last night, there's only one thing left to do, which is go to the car wash. I can't believe guys, first drive on the road. Long time coming. <laughs> Long time coming. So guys, there you have it. Everything is all good. Everything is all done. Interior is all good. Looks nice and clean. Got a few more bits to finish off there, which we can do later. Back seat, front seat, complete side, all done. Rear, all good. Everything's all done. Have a look. It's looking crazy. Thank you, my man. Yep. Easy. Guys, take a look at this, man. This has been one of the most difficult cars I've ever done. But you know how we do it on the channel, man. We keep it moving. And here we are. Interior is clean. Look at that wood grain. Everything is cleaned up nicely. And the car sounds, it really sounds nice now that it's warmed up. But guys, if I step out, it's official. The E53 is done. Guys, thank you for watching. Click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We out.